Welcome back, everyone, to Nanolays of Dawn. I'm your host, Dominic, or Shad if you're in. We have another match, this time 400 versus Sparkles on New Yamas. And it's going to be Light Vehicles versus Spiders. A match if I'm not really sure about. 400, I, I assume they have confidence in what they're doing, but this map does make it a little bit more limiting for Light Vehicles than for Spiders, because, well, Spiders can go anywhere, and Light Vehicles can't. Simple as that. Light Vehicles do have a lot of options for where to go, but on this map... All the little sections here, everything that has kind of a bit of a higher ramp to it, this area back here, none of it's accessible by vehicles. Of course, everything's accessible by spiders. As you can see, it's just red, not purple. But yeah, vehicles are quite limited in what they can do in this map, so I'm not really sure what 400 is thinking. Maybe they're thinking to win by speed or win by sheer power, like over mass fleas, which we have seen as being a scary thing. They haven't been changed either, so they're still kind of a scary thing. At the same time, though, I do like the use of the Scorchers. Scorchers do have a fast weapon that's stronger at close range, that re-aims reasonably quickly, but even then, I'm not quite sure that's going to actually do the trick. So it looks like 400 is trying to go for a bit more of a sneaky play. Probably go around the side, see if they can deal some damage, maybe wipe out the... No, not the commander. They are not wiping out the commander early, that's for sure. There's just no way. I mean, a commander with the, with the laser can't be taken out by three Scorchers. Hell, even four Scorchers is what you needed for the commander with the old pea shooter. Probably need five or six Scorchers now, at least. Interesting. Okay, did 400 see that Sparkles was going for Spiders, or did they just decide they're just going to go for Rippers anyway? Because I don't... I don't know. Rippers are an interesting choice. I mean, they're, they're good splash damage, but Fleas... I don't know. Fleas will probably die if the Rippers hit the right spot, but if they miss, then the Fleas can rip apart the Rippers. So, two Rippers is good. It's still going to be kind of tricky. Same time, though. Well, there's the Salt coming in here. At the same time, both the Fleas coming in, the 400 Commander is getting rid of, and the Scorchers, which Sparkles Commander is not getting rid of. Why are these still here? Move up. You... Oh, they can't move up. Right. Yeah, this is not vehicle pathable. Yeah, well, at the very least, the Spiders have been found out. And 400 Scrander is not stopping this flea. This Metal Extractor is dead, as is this Wind Generator. Maybe both. Ah, okay, good. Sparkles is staying out of the range of the Death Explosion. Oh, oh, oh. There we go. Always the important thing to do with fleas is make sure your fleas are not in the de Death Explosion of the thing they are killing. Because otherwise they will die. Because they have no HP. Just as a thing to bear in mind. Ah, darts. There we go. That makes a lot more sense. Something quick, sure it's single fire, but it's quick, slows down the fleas, and then if you have other units to follow up especially, it helps. But even if you don't, they're quicker and last a lot longer. So, that'll work. I like it. That being said, Sparkles has done a little bit of a better job expanding. They lost some stuff to harassment, but really, what has 400 even built so far? They have some lotuses built up to help deal with the fleas, which is good. But otherwise, what do they really have? They have less in the way of expansions, less in the way of territory I'd say they have control over. Like, at this point, Sparkles kind of has this whole section. And, of course, they have these metal extractors over here for free. So, the only thing that 400 can really do is try to attack quickly. Like, raid as much as they can. Get rid of everything as quickly as they can. And I don't really see that happening, because it's not happening. I mean, it looks like there's prep for doing that. I mean, you have some darts, darts here, a couple couple of darts, a ripper. Not a terrible thing to do to harass around, but at the same time, it's almost more like 400 is a little bit worried about being ambushed by the fleas and wiped out, which isn't an unfair concern. It's just the reason why I was concerned about this matchup in the first place. I really don't know what's going to happen with that. I kind of suspect that we're going to see 400 have a really tough time actually staying in this. They are managing to at least get a bit of an expansion her advantage early on, and at the very least their commander is able to deal with all the unpathable stuff for vehicles. So hey, you got something. But even without that, still kind of tricky. And yeah, there's the Ripper, barely able to get the turret in range in time. But, does work even against a bunch of ambushing fleas, so give it that. Sort of. Sort of works against a bunch of ambushing fleas. Not great, though. Like, that's the thing. I really am trying to rack my brain as to what could be really done here. But, honestly, not much. I mean, not with Rippers. 
Scorchers kind of make sense. Dark Scorcher makes a lot of sense. Ripper, I can kind of see the logic, but that's only if they're clumped up. And this Ripper is just driving off to its doom. I mean, the Lotuses are not going to be easy to deal with, especially not two of them. For one Ripper, no. Two or three Rippers, sure. And I guess I admire its bravery. But that was a pretty unproductive suicide. So, yeah, The Rippers didn't really do much, I'm afraid. And it looks like 400 isn't really building much either. They're kind of low in energy as a result of relying primarily on wind generators and also just not building enough energy. Currently, solar collider is being built up, but honestly, it's too little too late. The wind generators needed to have been replaced by solar or just not used as wind at all. This map does not give very good wind. Point three is not good wind. Not there, anyway. I mean, you can build some decent wind up here. But... Point six, it's, it's okay. But not with vehicles. Like, that's... That's spiders only. Or bots only. And again, there's the other problem. The police can come in here, wipe out the wind generators. I don't understand why wind generators are the go-to here. Why not go for solars? You know there are fleas. You know their units are going to wipe out the wind generators, no problem. And wind doesn't give you much power on this map. I do not understand the logic here. But for whatever reason, 400 decided, hey, let's go for wind generators, despite the fact that you can't. So, at this point, I'm really seeing Sparkles just taking this. 400 has been accessing for the last couple minutes. They have not really gotten a whole lot in the way of economy production. They, I mean, their economy is just installed by one flea on the metal extractor spot. Which is kind of silly, but that's not a bad strategy, actually. Just put the flea right there so it can't be built and your opponent doesn't know it's there. They just can't build and they don't know why. It's like, something's blocking the site! I don't know! I think that might be a thing that should decloak, but I don't know. They got, that seems like a bit of an exploit. Like, that seems a bit silly, but eh. Whatever, I guess just sweep by the metal extractor before you start building up on it. Still, 400 able to get a little bit of harassment in, at the very least. Not sure how effective... Oh, this is not going to work. The Lotus is going to kill them one at a time. Bit of a shame the most vulnerable one is up front, too. Okay. Well, okay, it does work. It's with the Lotus. Metal Extractor will kill off that one last Scorcher and... Oh, okay, one final Scorcher afterwards. But 400 is still way behind. They've just finally gotten the power they need to build up. They still don't have the actual build power needed to build up this stuff, so it's still not great. And while I understand the use of the fencers here to help get rid of the Redbacks, the Fleas will wipe them out and the Scorcher is not able to do much. So, yeah, I just don't get this matchup. Not in this map, anyway. Like, Sparkles can just out-eco 400, no problem. Out-harass 400, no problem. This is... This is not easy. I mean, I can almost see Dominatrix coming in, but, yeah, the Fencer... Uh, I don't know. I understand the logic, kind of. It's just not doing the trick. Like, it's kind of a fence... It's kind of a skirmisher. It does work in that respect. It's reasonably good at homing in on fleas and stopping their movement from making a difference. But... Being able to get enough of them to actually make a difference is going to be tricky. 400 is trying, for sure. And if they pull it off, that'll be good. I mean, that'll obviously they'll win. It's good for them. And it's good to show that there is an answer to the matchup. But at the same time, I don't totally agree for the simple reason that we can just get a bunch of fleas. Like, yeah, the fencers get rid of the fleas by distance, but they only fire so fast and the fleas move much faster. So they can be overwhelmed with fleas, especially an ambush set of fleas. Still, 400 being daring, going forward with their commander. Setting up? But, okay, not sure I totally agree with that. I guess they're probably not looking at this. Ah, they are looking at it now. Get rid of that Lotus. Get rid of the Weaver. Get rid of the South Side as much as they can. At the same time, though, they're still excessing. I mean, they have 30 metal per second going in the factory. That should be enough by now. Oh, no, it's not even enough. That won't be enough yet. Getting the airplane, which, okay, I guess that's going to be turned into some... Oh, turn into some Swiss, probably. I mean, I was about to say turn into some Phoenix, but no, Swiss would be more useful right now. What with the Locus coming in here, wiping out 400's commander. And Sparkus' commander is under no real threat. So, yeah, that's the end of the commander harassment story. As well as the commander expansion story. And, oh, 400. 
I mean, I get the logic for use of fencers, but unfortunately, they're all in a row. Like, why are you letting them line up? Split them out, they're not lined up. At the very least, okay, on fight move, able to sort of push each other aside, that works a bit better, but still. That's a lot of damage that could have been avoided. Sparkles with a massive attrition advantage, partly as a result of that, and partly just because, well, locusts. Again, a lot of locusts, not a lot of anti-air. Now, the raptor's coming in here. That might be too little too late, honestly. In fact, that is too little too late. Sparkles already have three times the economy. I mean, they are accessing due to lack of energy, which is a bit of a running theme in this match. Did they go for wind as well? No, they, yeah, they did. They went for wind as well. Seriously, wind range. This number here, I don't know, it's tiny, but is the most important number is the small number, the lowest number of wind range. Highest number is always 2.5. The lowest number depends on terrain. And if that's less than 0 0.5, 0 0.6, don't rely on wind as your primary source of power. Anyway, that is going to be it. So with that, Sparkles wins basically by having a better economy overall, and this map is not good for vehicles. It looks kind of decent because it's largely flat, but no, it's a spider map. Or at the very least, it's not going to work well for non-bots. I'm not sure about like Spider versus Cloaky, how that would work in this map, but Spider versus Light Vehicle, eesh, I don't think Light Vehicle has a chance. It's worth noting that this map was originally designed for Evolution RTS, which is a very different game that has very different terrain rules. And so the fact that it doesn't work especially well in 0k shouldn't come as a massive surprise. It's not originally a 0k map. Although there is actually a mapping contest going on for 0k for winter themed maps, which will be ending, I think, next Tuesday. And that's going to be interesting to see what that comes up with, because then there's a tournament in a couple weeks using the maps from that mapping contest. So that's, that'll be cool. You can sign up for that. It's going to be a 3v3 tournament in a couple weeks. So yeah, if you're, if you're watching this, you're probably watching it on Twitch. You can just scroll down. I have the tournament times and such in the Twitch description box stuff. If you're on YouTube, then go to the Twitch channel. Or actually, go to the forums. Go to the 0K forums and check check it out there. So that was New Yamas. Let's see what's happening with Thornford. And I think that'll be it. I did get a bit of a request. I'm kind of debating it because the map that was requested wasn't... I'm saying new maps. I'm saying new maps. But that's not a map that's being used in matchmaking, and I kind of want to just go over the ma new matchmaking maps. That was what I was thinking. I mean, I'd be kind of curious to see how Shifting Sands plays, but it doesn't look like it's that... I don't know. Interesting, I suppose. Well, at any rate, the next map is going to be Thornford. Golda versus Anarchid on Thornford. And then after that, we'll see. I'm not sure if I'm going to keep going... I mean, I am still sick. I'm trying, but I am still sick. I don't want to completely wreck myself. So we'll see. I'll play it by ear. Anyway, stay tuned for that. Be up in a couple minutes.